Sam's just mowed the grass at the village hall now. He's going to drop that front flail off and put the, the rear mower on for mowing hay. We might mow some hay later. We'll see how the weather looks for the rest of the week. Tedder on the front, rake on the back. Need to sort this wheel out on it though, it's knackered. Yeah, because the ram in the field's vicious. When he went in, he got both machines out at the same time. He's going to drop them off now. We're just ordering some tyres for the rower up because it's knackered. Trying to get this lawnmower mower running. But for some reason, them side, them screws there, the seven mil's too big and the six mil's too small. So it must be some crazy imperial size. Found the problem, them sprockets there that that tooth meshes against have chipped off around here. So it, it keeps stopping. Should look like that. So we can take it apart, see if we can get one. Gotta try and get that flywheel off now. So we're gonna bolt a plate over the top of that nut that we put back in and then undo it with a spanner, then hopefully it'll push up on that plate and pull that off the shaft. In the end, what we did was we put a crowbar underneath the flywheel and then we hit it down the stud, the, the crank, I suppose, with the, with the bolt screwed in with the hammer and then it shocked it and it flew off. And then my dad went to see if he can order the parts for it. You can actually get them off Amazon, but we're not sure if they're the right size. So he's gone to a place that specialises in mowers and Briggs Stratton engines and they've ordered us one. So last night, some kids set fire to a half-built new build. And they've been playing and setting fire in some woodland, so by someone we do some contract farming for. So we've got some signs, we're gonna put them up. Not that it'll work, but at least, you know, it's trying to keep people out. I'm a bit tired today, because somebody decided they wanted to set some fireworks off at quarter to four in the morning, and I never got back to sleep. Just in the churry picker, putting these signs up because there's been kids playing in these woods. Sam's doing a bit of rotivating there by the looks of things. Cutting the grass at the new farm. He's off again. He's mowing it now and we'll leave it to Wilt. It's forecast we might get rain tomorrow. So we're just gonna leave it in the rows for now and see what comes. And if the rain escapes us, then we'll shake it out because it'll shed the rain better in rows. This has never been cut yet. I don't think, I think last year we drilled it, but I don't think we actually cut any hay on it. So we're gonna do this one first as a bit of a shakedown for the tractor and all the, tether, the tether and everything, the mower. Just check out if it's working okay before we cut a big block of grass. So this is a new farm now. The lads are behind that hedge in the shade doing the brickwork. There you go. Tree picker Richard. And the house there. Can't beat the smell of fresh cut grass. There's been an oil leak on this spiky roller on the chipper that feeds it in. Looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. And it was dry this side, so they took the motor off. Can't find anything wrong with that. And then it feeds inside here, which you probably can't see down in the back there. And it, the oil was coming out this side. So we're going to try and take this planetary gearbox out of here now and see if it's leaking at the back. But we don't understand it because there's no hydraulic feed. The hydraulic feed goes to that motor and then it doesn't look like it's coming out the breather because this was only wet once they lifted the motor off so we don't know why the hydraulic oil is getting that way and while it's off we might put some new points on this so it's got a bit more grip because they've worn quite smooth we welded some 17 or 19 mil nuts on there last year and they've worn off completely now pretty much some lump in that in it Just when things were going wrong, well on the mower, something goes wrong. You Jace come to drift on the on one of the drives. Got this big bit of tube here now. Gonna have to weld some teeth on it so we can grip it on that nut inside there. So we make four teeth and then put a bar through the end here and see if we can turn it and undo that nut, pull that out, and then hopefully there's a seal behind it that's gone that we can fix. Dead easy quiz question today. What's that? If you think you know, leave a comment below. Yesterday's quiz question was in fact one of them. Yes, it's a load binder. I think I may have done it before a few months ago, but still some people managed to get it wrong. 
uh, you basically click it on the chains and ratchet it tight. It's got a ratchet mechanism in there. The simplest ratchet you've ever seen. If you look, it's got like a little, a little lever that you click to flick it the other way. And then just grabs on that tooth in the middle. Tighten them up and untighten them. So that's what the cherry picker or the cherry picker strapped down with yesterday. Obviously the chip is off the road for a little bit of TLC. The pile's getting quite big and then the fresh chip pile is getting quite small. So we're having trouble getting the planetary gear out in the middle of that roller to work on that because there's an oil leak. We have to make a spanner, but we're going to do that in the morning now. Take that off and hopefully it's just an O-ring. Put that back in, get it all back together. Sort that ram out that had snapped and then two bearings and it should be good to go. But I have a feeling it's one of them jobs that's going to take all day because everything we've done so far has. Sam was mowing before and the UJ broke on the mower. So that now, I'm going to have to sort that in the morning. We probably missed the best of the sun as well. We perhaps should have been mowing on Saturday, but I was spraying and the lads were off all weekend. So today's been a Tuesday, feels like a Monday. Like I say, I've been tired because I got woke up by someone messing around with fireworks. Anyway, to make myself feel better, I've come out here now to have a look at the beans because they look like they've, they've grown a good four inches in the last few days. Random fact as well, the solar panels, so we've had them, I think, six years now. This is the first time that they've produced more electric in April than they have in May. So that just shows you how dull May has been compared to normal but don't forget last year may we hadn't had any rain at all this field was brown totally totally nothing growing in it. it had some sweet corn in it that hadn't even grown but for some reason the beans were a bit ahead although they didn't then they didn't yield very well but here's some big ones here now like i say they're just starting to form some flowers there really clean no rust in them yet we often get brown rust in them or what they call chocolate spot they look great at the moment there's a bit of herbicide they've got to go through them with i didn't do it today because it was just so hot and the sun was so intense i didn't want to burn the plants like i say you get that sort of you know saucer of water on the top of here like in a dome shape magnifies the sun rays and it, it can basically kill them not kill it but kill the chlorophyll inside and burns the plant so i didn't want to do that we're going to have a quick look what the sunflowers look like this patch here, though it does look weedy, it isn't as weedy as it looks. It's got some wild flowers in it. When I go up the hill a little bit here now, you can see some, some fairly big plants. They, they've definitely doubled in size over the weekend, which is great because they really need to be like up here in eight weeks, I suppose. So, you know, they really want to be growing a few inches a day. If you look at them, they're all pointing that way, like little, like little satellite dishes tipped over. You can see, but they're definitely all that way. So in the morning, if I remember, if I come and have a look, they'll all be tilted that way because they obviously turn to follow the sun. You can see the sun up there behind my head. And they've really, they've really got to lean on. So I'll try and get here in the morning, see what they look like, but. You see them now some of the weed spread the other day is dying i'm hoping that some of this cleaver stuff which is the stuff that's very difficult to spray i'm hoping that they might smother that out now they've got some good weather to keep going and it probably doesn't matter that there's a bit of that in the bottom because it'll um when we go through and cut the maze with the mowers it'll leave a bit of a mulch for people to walk on maybe that's what i'm hoping or telling myself anyway some butterflies over there don't think you can see them there's a few burr patches but when we make the maze, we'll, we'll use a drone again like we did last year. Don't forget, if you want to watch the making of the maze, it, part one, two and three, it's it's further down through the, through the catalogue of YouTube channels there uh, stuff. But when we make the maze, we'll survey it with a drone and we'll see and we'll make use of any sort of bird patches and we'll put some clearings in. We might put some bales of straw so people can go in and stand on them and get like better pitches and things like that maybe. We'll just, we'll just see how it goes. But at least now when you look in the field, you're basically seeing more sunflowers and weeds whereas a few days ago you were just seeing well it was only a week ago you were seeing more weeds than some flowers i'll quickly show you how the mower works so basically these discs spin round these little blades on there it's a deck of them it's quite a load of them they spin around chop the grass and then these rotor at the back which we'll go around and have a better look at the rotor at the back then spins and beats the grass and that bruises it and all the sap starts to dry out of it then then it drops it back down the floor 
and then we'll go through with the tether and shake it out wider so it gets more surface area more daylight hitting it more chance of it drying out once it's dried out then we'll go through with something else and row it up that normally takes about three days we push it into rows then we go through the baler and bale it that's of course if everything goes according to plan but we've got some tires that we need to sort on the tether which we knew we needed to do for the last sort of nearly 12 months we just never sort of got round to it and also the mower's broken so that's put us behind a bit there that's about it for today but before i go i'd just like to thank whoever dropped these off basically jaguar flag for the workshop and a couple of coats jaguar land rover so thanks very much for that they'd arrived yesterday when i got back from taking picking the cherry picker up so thanks a lot for that if you want to um, subscribe click somewhere there if you want to watch another video click there and hopefully i'll see you all tomorrow only a quick edit today i've just had a phone well a message to say that there's kids now setting things on fire and making explosions in the woods where we put them signs up before so we're going to shoot down now and see if we can catch them so if we do that'll be in tomorrow's video